Hey everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specialist from Subaru of Prince George here. This is our 2022 Subaru Forester Convenience in the Magnetite Gray. So this is one trim level up from your very entry level Forester. So 22 is the first year of a redesign. You get that new front end, slightly more aggressive, slightly more boxier. All of the Foresters have LED steering responsive headlights now. So this left headlight will swivel left. When you turn left at speed, the right headlight will swivel right. You can see around those corners a little bit sooner. It is a pretty cool feature. It does make a difference. You can turn it off if you're not a fan of it. You get your halogen fog lights with the convenience. The entry level, just base Forester does not come with that. This is also the first trim level where you get the alloy wheels instead of the steels and the hubcaps. And the Magnetite Gray is a very popular color. Hides a lot of the dirt. It looks sharp. Lots of metallic flake in it. You probably see it on the lines where the sun's hitting as we go around there. So at the back here, this is also the first trim level where you'll get the backup sensors, those little dark circles in the rear bumper. Now, those will actually apply the brakes if it thinks you're gonna hit something in reverse. Very, very cool feature, perfect for busy parking lots. Terrifying when it works, but it does work really, really, really well. In the back here, tons of storage in the Forester. That's kind of what they're known for. With that big boxy rear end, you end up with a ton of room. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. We've got a privacy cover. That's standard factory equipment, as is the cargo tray with a little bit of a lip. So if you put a garbage bag, something in here and it leaks, it should contain a little bit of it. We do have hard physical tie downs, one in each corner. So if you have anything awkward, you can't have rolling around. That's a great way to do that. We have grocery bag hooks. Hook the loops of your grocery bags over that, stops grocery bags from tumbling around, bruising your vegetables, your apples, whatnot. We do also have a 12 volt outlet right here for any charging needs, portable cooler, 12 volt pump for inflatables at the lake. Underneath here, we have some storage. And underneath this, we have our spare tire. Those are full size donuts, so it is a temporary tire, but it's better than a fix it kit, if you ask me. We do also have this hook right here. Now I haven't really found a practical application for this. I guess if you had to go to an outdoor wedding and you needed to change into something, I guess you could use that as a clothes hook, but I haven't really found a practical use. If you guys know what exactly what it's for, please let me know in the comments below. I like to learn and that would be very cool if I can point that out to owners of Foresters in person here. Now in the second row of the Forester, there's tons of room. You can easily fit three adults comfortably across. Taller adults fit, lots of headroom, lots of legroom, even with the seats fairly far back. We do also have two 2.1 amp charging USB ports, keep everyone connected on those longer trips. This is also the first trim level where you get the fold down armrest with the cup holders. So you do not get that in the entry level Forester. The cloth is also different in the convenience over the entry level. Uh, texture wise it's a it's a little softer i'd say it's a little bit more comfortable myself if you need to fold the seats down virtually flat there's a little bit of an angle there but lots of people camp in these and they can't be that bad if people are camping in these you've got the tethers if you have child seats you do also have the anchors for the latch system and those are actually just behind here really really easy to access if you're a parent or you have kids grandkids with you friends kids really easy to install car seats using those all of our foresters have the roof rails easy to attach crossbars either Thule, other aftermarket ones or the subaru ones they're really easy to use it is a proximity key with the convenience forester so this never needs to come out of your purse your pocket your backpack you walk up you put your hand in the handle it'll unlock you have these lines here if you press and hold it will lock that won't work right now because the vehicle's running and you can't lock it like that while it's running on the inside here power windows locks mirrors as you would expect we do have the all important window lock for if you have children in the back or pets power driver seat this is the first trim level where you get a power driver seat including lumbar support and these seats are very very comfortable I find them very supportive, perfect for longer distance trips. You've got some bolstering that's not super aggressive, breaks in really nicely, holds you. On the inside here, bottom left, we have the steering responsive headlights. So that's what I was talking about, the headlights. So if you don't like it, you can turn it off. That's the start-stop technology. So if you don't want it to shut off at an intersection to save you fuel, 
and turn that off. And then we have this scroll wheel, which is brightness for the gauges, which is up here. And this will actually tell you what door is open, if there's a door open, which I quite like. And you've got a digital speedometer and you can cycle through a couple different pieces of information depending upon what you like. I personally like the digital speedometer myself. Headlights are auto or you can drive around with them on full. And you've got the momentary safety switch, so they default to auto. You can't accidentally drive around with your headlights turned off at dusk or dawn, which in the summer, I see a lot of on the road. On the steering wheel, left-hand side of our steering wheel, we have our Bluetooth and audio controls, make and take calls, control the volume that calls the music, switch between sources of music, AM, FM, CD, satellite. Info will change our little info screen up top. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Right hand side here, we have our adaptive cruise. You can increase or decrease the follow distance as well as lane centering. So when you turn on cruise, you get an image of the Forester and you can actually see there's three bars ahead of it, four bars and all the way down to one. The bars are follow distance and it's a ratio. Four bars at hundred kilometers an hour is approximately 150 to 180 feet behind the vehicle ahead of you, which is perfect following distance up here in the north. Turn that on, that's lane centering. You can see that those lines beside the distance, kind of illuminated gray, that will illuminate white if the two color eyesight cameras, which are those two black boxes, this is the newest, latest and greatest eyesight. I think they call it eyesight 4.0, but wire field of vision and you can't accidentally touch the camera. It's pretty much up to the glass. Um, but if, th if those cameras can see the road lines, they'll illuminate white on the corresponding side and it'll actually give you gentle steering input either way to keep you in the middle of your lane. I like it for the second half of a long day of driving, not so much the first little bit, and I never use it around town. And then you just turn it off, turn it off, easy enough to do. We've got intelligent and sport driving mode. So intelligence, your everyday driving, sport is obviously sportier, it's more for more spirited driving, you accelerate a little faster, you increase your RPMs at a little higher. So it's in intelligent right now, I press S for sport, you can see the yellow line gets a little bit more aggressive, a little sharper. That's kind of the torque curve you're gonna follow. Now, up top here, this is that little information screen I was talking about. Now, right now it's showing fuel economy, date time, you can change settings, what safety tech's on, lots of information that's handy to have while you're driving. It's also where our climate control and everything displays. Now, that's really easy. It is dual zone. This is the first trim level where you get dual zone and it ranges from 15 degrees on the low side all the way up to 30. Freezing a chocolate, depending how you and your passengers want it. Easy to sync it back to just driver controlled. You'll always have your thermometer up there. Oh, you'll always have the thermometer up there, the exterior temperature, as well as the clock. Below that, we have our little infotainment screen. It is touchscreen, or we have the physical buttons below here, which are again, very easy to use. And let's see here. See if we notice a difference on now. Right now, because the headlights are set to auto, uh, the screen won't go any darker based on the scroll wheel. And it's not dark out enough to require that, anyways. But this is also our backup camera. Put it in reverse. Backup camera pops up. You can see rear assist braking's active. Parking sensors are active. It does show you the center of the car, and it is kind of hard to see because it's in the shade right now. But it's it does show you the top of the bumper, so you have something to relate to. If I turn the wheel, those orange lines move, show you where you're gonna end up. If you keep your wheel turned that way. Right below that, we've got the slit for CD player. This is the first trim level where you get the trial to the My Super Connected Services. You do not get that in the entry level. You have to be essentially one step up to get that in the Forester. Apps will have your Apple CarPlay, your Android Auto, My Subaru app, Sirius Travel Link, which is part of your three month trial to the satellite radio. Down here below that, we've got our dual zone climate control, driver side temp, passenger side temp, fan strength. Mode will change where the airflow is coming from. And you can see that on the little screen there. Every time I press it, the arrows are gonna change on that little person, depending where you want it. And then max AC and AC. There is a difference actually. So even if AC comes on in the winter or when it's raining out, just let it do its thing. It's moving moisture around so you don't, your windows don't fog up. Max AC is the real cold stuff. And when I press max AC, Fan strengths can increase. It only puts that out at the front vents. You've got quite a bit. It gets cold really, really quick, which is perfect here. Sitting in the sun, I know it says it's only 16 degrees, but it's definitely warmer sitting in the sun in this vehicle. Automatic transmission with a manual mode. So drive and then manual. So we do have paddle shifters, upshift, downshift that you can use to select your own gear should you want. Parking brakes are electronic. You pull up 
to put it on. Foot has to be on the brake, push down to turn it off. We have auto vehicle hold, which is essentially a brake holder for construction, drive through, or rush hour traffic. Heated seats, high and low for both the driver and the passenger. And then we have X mode. I get asked about this all the time. X mode is kind of like four by four low in a pickup. It's for really rough stuff under 40 kilometers an hour. It locks the all wheel drive, 50% power front, 50% power rear. Really, really fun to use. It makes the vehicles even more capable than they already are. And then up top here, we have lane sway assist where it will actually beep at you if it thinks you're if you're crossing lanes without signaling or lines without signaling and we have automatic emergency braking and those are both actually through the two color eye sight stereo cameras and in bc automatic emergency braking actually saves you 10 percent on your basic icbc BC insurance which is pretty good any savings on insurance is great led map lights and then Part of the connected services trial, SOS, and roadside right there. And then of course we have sunglass storage. This is a card holder. And then we've got a vanity mirror with a light for the driver and the passenger. I know lots of people take that into consideration. That's an important feature to them. So that's a brief overview of the 2022 Subaru Forester Convenience. I'm Tyson, the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George. Talk to you guys soon.